You guys' daughters are twerking at five. Five. Where is the parenting? Where is the boundaries? Where is the help? Y'all are not helping your kids. You're hurting them. You guys are hurting them. Okay, so we're gonna get into a culture issue, specifically the culture of American education in a lot of parts of America. So American education, the education system has a lot of problems. We can talk about the rankings, where the US stands, and grades, and science, and math, and all of that, but that's a different video. But what we're gonna talk about are the cultural issues that are the primary reasons why these kids aren't learning, why America's falling behind, why people grow up, as adults who are ignorant as hell don't know absolutely anything and why the u.s economy has to outsource higher level labor because the american labor force is inadequate to do higher level jobs so let's look at this clip here of this dance teacher talking about how some of the little kids are at her class i'm calling out all the parents if you're a parent and your child is in pre-k to elementary school elementary school to high school i'm calling you out the children today i have never experienced and i'm i'm 22. having to teach and work with you guys as children has been the most traumatic experience of my life i teach five-year-olds ballet five-year-old girls ballet i have a class of 10 students They don't respect any authority. You ask them, can you stand in your designated spot? They're telling you no and shut up. They're throwing things at each other. They're throwing things at other people, other classmates. You say, can everybody sit in their spot? I don't want to, I'm not doing that. You don't get to tell me what to do. You're not my mom. You confront the parent. The parent tries to argue with you and fuss at you because you tried to reprimand and redirect their kid. I told a young little girl, please sit in your spot. You're not my mom, you don't tell me what to do. Okay. When her mom came to pick her up, I said, hey, your daughter's having a hard time following instructions. And seven times today, I've had to redirect her to just sit in her spot. Well, clearly she didn't want to sit, and mind you, this is a mom, clearly she didn't want can sit right there so i mean if she telling you she don't want to do something why keep asking her to do it you know she's not going to do it what world do we live in like what in you guys's brain as a parent says hmm my kid not following any directions is a, is a great thing it's not that serious and y'all don't have a right to tell her what to do it's sad it's sad it's really really sad and another thing that's heart-wrenching is horrifying it is horrifying your five-year-old daughters are asking to listen to pound town and ski ye your daughters your five-year-old daughters are asking can we hear pound town i'm playing them princess tiana ballet music and they are asking me can we hear pound I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And I'm so scared for these little girls today because this is the most insane, insane agenda push I have ever seen in my life. We do freeze dance. You guys' daughters are twerking at five. Five. Where is the parenting? Where is the boundaries? Where's the help? Y'all are not helping your kids. You're hurting them. You guys are hurting them. What's the problem here? A lot of these parents just don't care. You see, these parents are more ready to defend their children from any type of criticism, even constructive criticism, because they're not caring. They don't give a damn about their kids' education. 
It shows in the results. It shows in actions. People talk about, well, I love my children. I want the best for them. Their actions don't show it. They're not involved and they don't give damn. These kids are struggling with math. They're struggling with history. They can't read. We have people about to graduate high school. They can't read on the third grade level. These people can barely add and subtract and you're about to send them out into the workforce, <laughs> into polite society. You're about to send them out and they don't know a goddamn thing. They're not getting help at home. They're not in a home that fosters a culture of education. They're in a home where it's completely okay to thug and drug. You sit down on your ass doing nothing all day. You don't study. Your education is on the back burner. You can have trash grades then come home and be on the electronics all day be on video games all day, running the streets, doing who knows what. These girls are in middle school, putting on makeup and getting their nails done. They worried about all of that, but they can't read. They can't add and subtract. These parents are using these schools as daycares. Okay, where can I send my kids for free for several hours a day? So they're out of my face. Maybe I can go to work or maybe I can do something else, but let me just get rid of my kids for free. They don't care about these kids' grades. These kids aren't held accountable. When it's report card day, a lot of these parents, they don't hold these kids accountable. When the teacher calls and says, hey, this is some constructive criticism of your kid. Your kid talks too much in class, is disruptive. Your kid needs to read 15 minutes a day to improve their reading overall. The parent claps back at the teacher. The parents are not open to any type of dialogue because they don't give a damn. And that shows. With this toxic culture of education, we're going to hell in the handbasket because these girls are learning how to pop their butts and beat dots. And these boys want to thug and drug, but again, they can't read. They want to talk all this ish to people. They want to start fights and do all that, but they can't even read. And that's the priority. That's what these people love. In fact, let's look at something that a lot of these schools prioritize. <laughs> That's a damn shame. I wish I can see that type of energy when it comes to actually learning. When it comes to improving some grades. You sitting here worried about having a damn concert at school. Sitting here worshiping celebrities and doing all that. Well, newsflash. This celebrity got her money. She's rich. If you desire to be like her, a fraction of a fraction of you will ever make it to that level to be one of these celebrities. The rest of you are just going to be normal everyday workers wondering why you're in the poverty line and the schools the parents they're fostering this culture these kids are growing up in their culture and by the time they're teenagers they completely adapted to it and they're often closed out to anything different let's look at lebron james's i promise school so it's a charity organization he in the state of ohio they sank a lot of money into this there was a lot of press a lot of media hype talking about this school oh he's giving back he's gonna pay for these kids to go to college and give them bikes and all of that well that school has been having problem after problem after problem there's a rotating door of principals the principals keep leaving teachers are leaving and why is that because these kids are bad as hell the parents have no interest, even though they're going to the school and you tell them, well, I'm going to do all this and that for your kids. On the surface, they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's good. I appreciate it. But their actions show they're not interested. Then we see all the stuff going on, got balance, fights, people getting beat up. I think somebody got shot at the school, outside of the school or something like that. It's a cultural issue. So you can have all of these resources available. You can have all this fame and money. But it's not changing what's going on at home, what's going on outside of school. So this school is completely failing. It's just an example of many, many schools. And these people should realize you got to change the culture first. If you're having a problem with crime, then you need to lock these criminals up. You need to get them off the streets. You need to make a long-term plan on how to get these kids properly educated. But it takes the parents. It takes home priorities where you are holding your kids accountable for knowing how to read at grade level for practicing math for fostering some type of interest in long-term education and not sitting here dugging and drugging twerking playing video games and all of that while they got d's and f's on that report card 
while they're suspended from school for fighting or being disruptive or whatever. So yeah, it's a crisis. This is an absolute crisis. Let me know what you think. Leave me a thumbs below, share the video. Thanks for watching.